Okay, so here is the banner. So we are going to have two new Gumpla. It's going to be the Gundam X Divider, which is going to be a four star. And you're also getting the Ale Strike, which is also going to be a four star. So, man, I have been busting nuts all day because of this X Divider. One of my favorite mobile suits of all time. Uh, I love the X Gundam. I think the X Gundam is amazing. But I just think the aesthetics and weaponry on the X Divider is way better. I love that shield. That shield. Like, boys, this shield is going to be OP. I'm telling y'all. I feel it. I feel it in my soul. The X Divider shield is going to be the best shield in the game when this comes out. Guaranteed. Unless, like, you know, maybe uh, the Unicorn Gundam, you know, maybe his little uh, NT, you know, field shield is going to be better. But um, I think in terms of an offense shield, this is going to be what you need. Uh, the new Gundam shield is okay. Uh, I haven't really messed with the Exeus shield. Like, I haven't really seen much of it. Um, the Gundam shield is, eh, it, it's, it's okay for what it is, but boys, I am going to pull, I'm pulling everything I can in order to get this shield. This is like a must have. I, I think the, the shield and the backpack on the X divider is going to be your go-to items. Uh, they're not obviously telling us what the items are. We can't see it. I can't do any kind of like actual like understanding of, you know, what these parts are going to be able to do what the traits and the X ability is going to be. But I, I'm just telling you, I'm telling you, get these shields. Now, important note, there's two important notes. One, the Exion Dynamis on the previous banner, they are going to be going to the standard capsule. So whenever you do your one free uh, pull a day, make sure you go in there. You have to go and do your one free pull. I've gotten two Barbados parts based on that free um, pull. So you never know. You could possibly get a four star off of a free pull. So make sure you go there every single day, do your free pull. Uh, but if you're like, hey man, I, I didn't finish off the Exia banner, I would I would definitely say go to that uh, capsule banner and like the standard. I'm pretty sure the rates are gonna be a little bit higher for Exia. Um, I, could be, I could be wrong, but I think maybe the rates could be better on that one because the rates have been completely crap for me on these pulls. Uh, so I've only done three pulls. I got one XC apart and that was it. Everything else is green and blues. Uh, but you're gonna have two new AI pilots. You're gonna have uh, Ko Yurikai, Your Yuraki. I don't know who this character is. I think that, that character is from, um, it looks like UC, because I'm definitely seeing um, Federation stuff all over. Uh, but uh, Cecily Fairchild, that's gonna be a three star. She is from F91. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, but for the most part, Char Aznable, that's the one I've been wanting to pull. Oh, thank you, uh, Mr. Wong for subscribing. Uh, but yeah, so these two pilots, I think they're going to be pretty cool, but, um, I'm honestly, I, I need to see what they are. I need to see what their licenses are going to be. I need to see like the stats and everything and what their tags are going to be. Those, that's what's important to me. Like the license first and foremost, and then I want to check out what their, uh, their actual, you know, word tags are going to be. Now, when are these banners going to be out? Well, the banners are going to be out on August 13th, 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time. So make sure that you do all your pulls before then if you really want to. If not, go ahead and just save your chips for this actual pull. I'm, t I'm, I'm just telling you, man, you're going to want the X Divider. Also, let's go ahead and take a look at the event. New upcoming event, Unseen Assault. This is going to be delicious my boys so unseen assault is going to be featuring the blitz gundam i think it's going to be a pretty good suit i don't know if it's going to be focused on speed or power i don't think it's going to be focused on power it's not a power oriented suit it might even be more technician than anything uh so i would definitely cater yourself around to uh you know trying to get this i think blitz is going to be good the arms are probably going to be fantastic because it is going to the shield is probably going to be a separate part let's just be frank uh, but for the arm, that grappling hook, that should come with the arm. And I think that might be a pretty good weapon. I don't know if it's going to be like an EX skill or what, but it looks like it, it could be maybe pretty decent. Uh, also, the arms are going to have the Mirage ability to where it can kind of cloak itself and become invisible. How that's going to play into effect, I don't know. So, I mean, maybe the EX ability for the arms could be a cloaking device. Who knows? Um, not knowing, I don't really know much about everything else. I don't know if the head's going to incorporate maybe certain traits like, hey, speed increase or something like that, or, uh, possibly it might, uh, do more out shooting, I think, uh, we'll definitely see in the future, but 
as of right now, I, I don't, I can't really give a firm uh, prediction on what kind of mobile suit this is going to be. I think it's going to be more of like a trickster kind of mobile suit. Um, that's just kind of like my mind. It's like maybe speed oriented, but kind of like some good debuffs. Uh, I'm kind of hoping, or, or it could be buffs, but yeah, that's it. Uh, so with this event, it's going to be much like the Rising Gundam where you have to get certain parts and you get multipliers. But this is going to be the cool thing. This is what makes it a little bit more uh, free to play friendly. So if you already got the Rising, you just need one part. That is 10 coins from the previous event to spend on one Rising part. All of you should have already had like one part from each. But just get one part from the Rising and that's going to give you uh, two times. So on very hard mode, you do get nine coins for these uh, for these events. That's going to be 18 coins. Now, the next one is going to be the Ale Strike with five times multiplier, and then with the X Divider, which is going to be a seven times multiplier. So you're going to want that seven times multiplier to get 63 coins on that very hard mode. Uh, that's what I've been doing, and I'm pretty much done with uh, this entire event. Like I did use a lot of the uh, energy, you know, re like recharge uh, tickets. Probably not going that route this time. Maybe until like the very last day if I absolutely need it. But for the most part, um, this is going to be going along the same time as the banners. So as soon as this drops, I would just say, hey, rush into it. You gotta get. I, they're not. They're not showing you what the uh, what all the different items are going to be. But you see that awakening circuit. That awakening circuit is what you're going to need in order to uh, finally power up at least one item, one part, to five stars. I haven't truly decided on what I'm going to do for mine. I've been thinking about the Barbados A uh, Mace. I've been thinking about the Gundam uh, Beam Rifle because I do think the weapons are going to have a little bit more priority when it comes to leveling up to level five because it's very versatile. I can actually put these parts to any other Gundam and it's going to be a little bit more powered. Uh, whereas if I do a mobile suit, it could be outclassed in the next banner. I have no idea. So I was thinking about doing it on my new because my all my new parts are completely uh, maxed out at level 60. Uh, so I was like, hey, maybe I should power you know power up the the backpack because I already you know put a little investment in it. But I think I'm just gonna go the route of using the um, the extra little awakening tickets or the awakening circuits on an actual weapon because hey, I can throw that weapon on something else and it's gonna be a good mobile suit just on default. So uh, I would personally recommend going that same route, but if you really want to power up one of your MS's uh, parts, then hey, go that route. Hey, this this is it's, it's all pretty easy. So probably next week you can get two more of these parts uh, because of the actual achievements on the uh, on the events side of the tab. Now when it comes to the login bonuses, much like the previous events, so as you see, like you got like 150 Haro chips one day, you got an Awakening Circuit, another Awakening or AI Awakening Circuit. So these are going to be some good login bonuses. You're going to need these awakening circuits. You're going to need these chips. So make sure at very bare minimum you're logging in every single day to claim these rewards. It, it, I mean, if you want to play the uh, the event, hey, you know, definitely try and do your best. If you don't, hey, at least play a little bit so that way you can get some of these rewards. And that way your time a little bit later in the future is not going to be tougher because you didn't get certain parts from the Blitz. And the Blitz might have been like a really good uh, mobile suit or at least some parts from the Blitz could have been really good. So make sure you're planning around this event. You want to do these logins. You want to at least get these awakening uh, circuits because if, if you don't want the Blitz, fine. But get the awakening circuits that way you can actually power up your mobile suits and they can you know re basically reach uh, five stars without any kind of problems. Well, guys, that's it for me. So I definitely want to at least give you this news so that way you understand exactly what is coming up. These banners are going to be pretty damn good. I'm more excited about these than the Exia. To be honest, Exia and Dynamis does not excite me. I do like Exia. They don't excite me that much. But X Divider, that gets my pants tight. So I'm super, I'm pumped for this. And I'm hoping that y'all are going to be pumped with this as well. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a lot of different content. I'm hoping to get the X Divider completed uh, ASAP. And then I can go ahead and do an analysis on that mobile suit for you guys. Uh, but hey, thank, thanks, to, thanks uh, to all you guys for watching. Uh, one thing I do want to say is I do have a sponsor, NewTypeHQ.com. Um, they are a Gundam site. They have other different like models, like different Plamo from uh, different series. But since a lot of you guys are probably getting into Gundam, you know, for the first time, or maybe you know, I haven't really picked up a Gunpla in a long, long time, go check out their website. I have the link of their website in the description down below. You can also use my promo code Krosama for 10% off your purchases. But if you really want to get back into Gunpla and not just play the game. 
definitely go see them, type in that uh, promo code, and maybe buy just a cheap kit and still get that 10% off. That's really going to help you out in the long run. Or if you want to, you know, if you're in the United States, they do have uh, any purchase over $69 you can actually get your shipping for free. So really good deals. These are like some great guys. I've been sponsored in for a long time, and I, I definitely vouch for them. But hey, other than that, guys, definitely smash that like button down below. If you want to see more content, let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.